what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new go ahead and hit that okay i can't even talk and i'll tell you why if you're new hit that subscribe button my name is maritza i will be taking you guys along with me to to go to recovery so yesterday during training i got a minor concussion oh, oh lord man damn bro you don't want to give me a concussion and which led me to take the rest of the day off um i ended up doing strength and conditioning right after and i felt pretty okay up until towards the end of conditioning there were some things i couldn't really do like max out on my weight and um certain neck exercises that i couldn't do or that i just avoided already took this morning off from chaining i'm going to be going to recovery I try to go into the cryo chamber as much as I can because it has so many benefits. Um, but I'm gonna actually bring you guys along with me and I'm gonna show you guys kind of like the recovery process of it. So that's also gonna help my brain and my recovery with my minor concussion. So um, yeah. I also want to mention that it is it is October 1st. It is really hot still. Uh, the inside of my car says it's 96. Anyways, let's go get some coffee first and then we'll head to recovery. So I've got a caramel, iced caramel macchiato. Where's my straw? So you can never go wrong with this, especially from Peaks. Perfect. I am starting to notice my head feel a little bit heavy again. And I think it's because of the sensitivity from the light, from the sun and everything. Hopefully it goes away pretty soon. All right, so first up, I like to normally start my recovery process with the Normatec compression sleeves. This little machine allows you to choose what level of intensity you like. You can also choose how long you'd like to go for and whether you're doing legs or hips. Today I'm only doing legs. So the compression sleeves accelerates recovery and rejuvenates the body by flushing lactic acid, re reducing inflammation and water retention. It also improves blood circulation and reduces minor muscle aches and pains. Now we're going to go into the cocoon and as you can see it has red light. So I'm going to lay in there for about 30 minutes and then we're going to go hop into the cryo chamber. So this cocoon, I love this cocoon so much. I have fallen asleep in here before. <laughs> it's basically a red light therapy massage bed um, and you can choose the intensity of the massage and the heat. Today I went light because of my concussion. This is good for relaxation, stress management, uh, mental health, nervous system reset, and is also good for a good night's sleep. I like to use this one to two times every other week. Next, we've got this whole body cryo chamber, personally my favorite. I actually come in here, if not every other day, every day, just to use the chamber. So the inside of the cryo chamber can vary from negative 160 to negative 240 temperature wise which is why i am getting all bundled up and i'm ready to pick a song now that i have my song going i am going to choose to do three minutes and 15 seconds today at the cryo level a fun fact about the chamber is that when you step in your body actually burns 600 to 800 calories which is a plus your body quickly produces new blood cells, enzymes, endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin. So a lot of benefits from this. Um, this also helps me to strengthen my immune system and 
just overall helped me to quickly recover from training and all my muscle aches and pains. This also helps with prevention of dementia, which is why this is good for me right now because of my current concussion. <laughs> um, and it also helps if you happen to have arthritis or to prevent arthritis. Good morning guys, today is the next day. Great. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can still hear me, but um, I just woke up. I'm about to have some breakfast, avocado toast, potato eggs, potato and eggs. So the recovery process that I did yesterday is a lot of the, the same things that I try to do on a daily basis. Um, I try to go in there as much as I can because training mostly two to three times six days out of the week um, even more if I'm in training camp so it's like a lot of training my body always needs that recovery and so that is what I like to do for part of my recovery process um, I also you know include cold plunge um, making sure I'm staying hydrated making sure I'm taking my vitamins so that is something that I like to do. Cover is just as important as, you know, the hard training. It's something that I've learned throughout the process of, you know, being a professional fighter. Um, in the beginning, like, more than half of my career, I did not do any recovery whatsoever rather than, like, get good sleep. And um, so now I'm starting to implement a little bit more here and there, and it's been helping me a lot more. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what I do with uh, my recovery process. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And I will keep you guys updated on my next fight. Hopefully it's very soon. It's almost going to be a year in December. Fingers crossed. You know, I've been training. I've been focused. Trying to stay focused. Stay healthy. Stay fit. Um, so yeah, you know. God's timing and we'll, we'll see when my next one is but yeah I'll keep you guys updated make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye